Not long ago, a married couple from Warren often felt alone in practicing their vegan lifestyle. So they decided to reach out to others in the area who prefer a plant-based diet. And that couple found that they have plenty of company and the numbers are growing. Our John Last shares the story in this Monday edition of The Last Word. Have you ever been inside a restaurant and you've looked through the menu and you just can't find anything you'd like to order? Well, if you're vegan, that probably happens a lot. People who practice a vegan lifestyle enjoy eating out as much as anyone else. However, in places such as Warren County, it's hard to find restaurants that have vegan menu items. Don and Kate Reed of Warren have tried. But a lot of places just don't even have an option. They're all strictly a meat-based option for cheese. And it's very difficult sometimes to find an option. Don and Kate decided to use social media to reach out to other vegans in the Warren area to find out if they would be interested in getting together once a month to eat the foods they prefer. The Warren Vegan Dinner Group was formed. We've talked about it for several years is to try to put together a formal group um, and last fall we just kind of decided to go for it and and uh, it kind of mushroomed. This is not only a social group it's also an educational group. The Reeds have been talking to the owners of Warren area restaurants in an effort to convince them that there is a demand for vegan menu items. Some meat and fish restaurants have agreed to host the dinner group. And guess what? The restaurants came up with some delicious and creative vegan dishes. The ones that have prepared food for us so far have done a fantastic job. Everyone has fallen in love with it, and we're all hoping that some of these places will put that food on the regular menu. <laughs> this month's dinner get-together is being hosted by the Bent Run Brewing Company in Warren. It's a night that the restaurant is usually closed. Bent Run's menu offers nothing that comes close to vegan, except for this night. Since we're not, you know, open for business, we can plan that type of menu because it's not something we carry all the time, but for, you know, a certain group, we can make it on a different scale. I've done a lot of catering, so it was, I was used to doing a lot of different menus where I worked before, so, but it was a, a challenge because it is a lot different than normal coming up with different food. About 30 of the group's 50 members are here. They love the tofu summer rolls, a roasted butternut squash salad, and the entree, vegan tikka masala. They hope to come back and enjoy those items again. With the last word in Warren, John Last, Erie News Now. Looks good to me. Looks like his new snack for Penn State football. I Maybe. Think so. The next meeting of the <laughs> vegan dinner group that will be coming up February 22nd at Mama Jane's restaurant, also in Warren. And for more information on joining the group, go to our website, erienewsnow.com.